The zone is packed and roaring already as they are ready for football here at Kyle Field. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He'll return it from the one. Across the 30. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. Gives it to the back. Up the middle for a nice game. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 39. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. He'll get the call again. Nice run, and he's brought down. Corbin gains around five yards on the counter play from scrimmage. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. He scrambled. Picks up five on the scramble. From the 20 yard line, second down. He's level at the nine. He's out of bounds at the one yard line. Down, Aggies. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 66-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Texas a and Kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And down he goes at the 29. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Down around the 44 yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That brings him second and five. And he 
hits him hard at the 41. From the 41 yard line, second down. He's tackled around the 35 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's scrambling, and he's sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks away. No good. He missed it to the left. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Texas A&M is up a score. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. The penalty pushes them back even more. It makes it third down and 15. And he is drilled at the 27. That makes it fourth and long. Taylor is back awaiting the punt. It's away and it's a booming punt. Taylor takes it to 25. Tackle made at the 29 yard line. Texas A&M's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 29. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That makes it second and two. Makes it out to about the 36. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 23. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose.
He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Johnson thinks he's at the four yard line. That makes it first and ten. Quick pass, and they push him out at the four yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That brings up second and nine. They come out on an empty backfield. He's on the run. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And really a nice run there by that quarterback. Well, great decision by the quarterback reading the defense. And as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 71-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. We're even at seven in this one. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. Loss of four yards on the play. That makes it sense. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 48. Tackled after positive yardage. That's good for the seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Ready, 390, 290, 200 check. Takes the toss left. They'll bring him down at the 36. He fights forward to about the 33. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it third and one. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Carries the ball for a nice game. And he tackles him hard at the one. made right around the two-yard line. Ready, 
Again with the run. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seven. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Texas A&M is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Small gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Throws falling back and got his man. He's pushed out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. There's the play fake. Quick throw onto the receiver, incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Ball will be the return man. He's to the 40. Gets to about the 41-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Texas A&M is up by three. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 10-7, Texas A&M. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Ready! Gray 95! Gray 95! He scrambled. Decides to slide. Here he goes. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. He's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 45. at the 30. Fires quick. He catches another. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. That brings him second and five. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. 
third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Texas A&M has a three-point lead. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. It's up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's on the run. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's a deep five on the play. That brings him second and five. On the catch. Oh, they strip it out. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Stewart to punt. Gets to about the 37-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Texas A&M with a six-point lead. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Man awaits the snap. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brought down at about the 27-yard line. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Caught, open field, and he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown, A&M. And 
Kelly converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Gets it out in a hurry. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. And he's hit immediately. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That's a game 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. They hand it off again. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. From the 23-yard line, third down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. He gets it up, and he's got it. Texas State is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. Texas A&M's offense came out of the gate like gangbusters, but they have slowed things down. I just don't sense the same energy from this team that we saw early in the game. They just came out and were ready and excited. It seems that they've kind of let their foot off the accelerator, but now they're opening up for an opportunity for this team to get back into this game and maybe take the lead. Gets it. He's in space, and he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. Gets three on the carry. Makes it to the 47. He throws left. And it's incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's a quick throw. Couldn't haul it in. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Ready, 
throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Scrambling around. Can't wrap him up. And he's level at the 22. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards here on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. On the move, he throws complete. He's hit and taken down. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's under some heat, and he tackles them hard at the 39. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. This one is batted away. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. So the Aggies with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm sure both teams have problems in the first half, but one of them, David, not moving the football. Both offenses really ran up and down the field. We see this more in college football, Reese. More success on the offensive side, and it's harder and harder to stop these offenses that continue to get more and more complicated. The defenses, they got no answer. They got to find an answer quick, or else this ball game is just going to go tick for tack the whole second half. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. Texas A&M's generated a touchdown in this one, and they'll be looking to get that offense going in just a bit. Going to send you out in the second half of your game. Brad and Kirk on the call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. 
might have been some early movement up front. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. at the 49-yard line. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. It's second and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. made at the 21-yard line. Tucker makes the tackle at the 21-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 9-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Bobcats. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 20 to 17. Tackle made at the 31. The Bobcats came into the second half. They looked like they were just going to cruise to a victory. Right now, they better turn it around and they can lose this game. You're right. I, I don't know what happened at halftime. Maybe they were worried about the press clippings after this game. But they better get things in order. They could end up losing this ball game. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Texas A&M is up by three. Make the stop right around the 42-yard line. He makes it to the 42-yard line. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Check, check, play, <laughs> nice run there. Corbin gets about four yards on the draw play. That makes it fourth and four. Taylor is back deep to return. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. 
The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. It's third down, 14 to go. Ball on their own 16. He sails it long. Almost intercepted. Stewart is the putter. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Texas State's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 26. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 14-yard line. Down he goes at the six-yard line. That makes it six and two. He's tackled at the five. That's good for a game at one yard. That'll make it third and one. Mike nine, Mike nine. Hang out. Here we go. Got him over the middle. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. And he adds the extra point. So a six-play, 42-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of six and four. That'll make it seven and four. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Bumble! It's scooped up. They'll get him for a loss. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there.
now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. Hopkins picks up about five yards on that hookup. Ball is back deep to return the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Mike 9, Mike 9. Check, check. 180. On the ground, inside. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Looking for the corner, and he carries the ball for a nice game. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Bring him down right around the 24-yard line. He scrambled. Tackle at the 23-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Set, right, 80. And off to the left. Good open field tackle. He's scrambling. Inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Now he tries to buy some time, and he can't get away from the pressure. Boy, these kind of plays result in a lot of confidence from this defense and the defensive coordinator. I will not be surprised to see this defense continue to bring this kind of pressure against this offense. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Watch the turn. Watch the turn. Close the fight. Ready. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Small, ready to kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence. It's allowing them to play more downhill and they can attack this offense. Nice run up the middle. And 
And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Maybe it's time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. Texas A&M's lead is 17. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He's going to try and scramble. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. the middle and he's level at the four the tackle made around the one yard line bring them down in the backfield. You don't want to let your running backs keep getting in the loss of yardage situation. It'll wear down the best of them. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Strike to his receiver, no good. Kicks up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For Texas A&M, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Hey, Brad, remember the last time this offense came out in the field? Of course, they went for it on fourth down. Sometimes it drives me crazy when we call all of these games and these guys out here go for it all the time on fourth down. Here's a message. If it's longer than fourth and five, just consider a field goal or a punt. Scrambling around. Loose football. And the ball bounces out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Brought 
down in the open field. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. And he's sacked. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. Five wide receiver set. Throws it out right to the running back. He's taken down right around the 44 yard line. Receiver brought down before he can get there. They're ready to begin another drive. Pick up. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. He's on the run. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Up the middle for a nice game. He's to the 40, slings it, and they make the stop at the 42. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Right around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He scrambles. He dives and he'll be marked down. And he tackles him hard at the 17. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Team. 
And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Under heavy pressure. Gets rid of it quickly. Fires quickly. Touchdown. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Tackle at the 45. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Makes it to the 37. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's the tailback. Texas State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He fights forward to about the 26. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Catches it, and that's all. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Texas A&M is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, now you've got to be thinking end zone on every play. You just don't have the time to do anything else. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Spikes the ball. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Under a minute left. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away.
Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. That makes it first and ten. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. The spike will stop the clock. Here's the eighth play of the series. Caught and he's hit immediately. He heaves it to the end zone. What a pick. Offensive battle to the very end. Texas A&M 40, Texas State 24. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.